food. I, I can't find my to-do list today. I, um, I don't know what to do. So, you'll get these in a second. If you didn't, some of these are like joke grenades. You have to tell them and then wait like eight seconds before you get them. I am in a weird mood. I took a correspondence course in mime, and they sent me six blank tapes. <laughs> I love mail order stuff. I just ordered this one thing. It's the history of mail fraud. Well, I haven't got it yet. <laughs> it's going to be cool. $1,200, it better be cool. <laughs> the other day I caught a butterfly and it had a tattoo of Cher on his butt. Wow. <laughs> I just found out today that I won the 2017 Psychic of the Year Award. <laughs> You get it? That's not yet. Yeah. Are you gambling? Are you winning money? No. no, I'm not going to gamble. I try counting cards. I keep getting 52. <laughs> slot machines, I'm good at those. There's this one slot machine that I can strip. Every time I put in a dollar, I win a Coke. Come on, Coke. Coke. Daddy needs a beverage. Coke. You know what, I read this, um, 1,600 out of 2,000 high school seniors in Las Vegas this year flunked their math exam. 1,600 out of 2,000. That's almost half. <laughs> My mom's great. I remember one time I asked Rebecca Barrow some of her sleeping pills. She said, sure, knock yourself out. <laughs> She's pretty cool, my mom. She started a new support group called DAM, D-A-M, Mothers Against Dyslexia. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but I don't do drugs. I'm against drugs because um, my mom used to do a lot of drugs before I was born. <laughs> I don't do drugs. I experimented with marijuana in college, but I didn't exhale. <laughs> My buddy smokes pot for his glaucoma. He doesn't have it. He's just building up immunities. <laughs> My doctor prescribed medical marijuana for my constipation. He told me to shit or get off the pot. <laughs> I get my sense of humor from my grandfather because I remember he was on his deathbed one time. <laughs> he used to say weird stuff. He used to say, do you know why they call this part of a woman the waist? Because there was room for a couple more boobs. <laughs> I have a nice waist. I get complimented on my waist all the time. I was talking to these girls at a club. As soon as I left, she turned to her buddies and said, what a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I have a pretty nice ass too. <laughs> you, get it? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I saw here in Vegas? I saw a transvestite walk into a woman's bathroom. That takes ball. I'll touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay myself. I have one thing in common though with gay guys. We have the same amount of sex with women. <laughs> you know, I saw here in Vegas when I first moved here, Evil can Evil. We were walking past the fountains at Caesar's Palace late one night and he tried to jump me. <laughs> They say if you were to take all the gay guys in Las Vegas and lay them end to end, that it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I, I heard it's like the second time. We were in Napa Valley, California um, last week where they make all the auto parts. We were in Dodge City, Kansas, but we got the hell out of there. <laughs> You know, they gave us to eat in Dodge City, they gave us Rocky Mountain oysters. You know what those are, right? Yeah. yeah, they're bull testicles. Yeah, they're not bad if you don't know what they are. When you don't know what they are, they taste just like chicken testicles. <laughs> Welcome back grocery store and it says it help wanted, so I ran in and said, what's wrong? 
They made me fill out a job application. And they'll say, have you ever been convicted of a crime? And you put no. But the next line says, explain why. <laughs> I put good lawyer. <laughs> or they'll say sex. And then they'll have a little M and a little F. I mean, I'm honest. I prefer to F. But uh, most of the time, I'm by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I didn't get the job though. You know what I'm going to do next week? I'm going to sign an endorsement deal with Nike next week. They're going to give me a whole bunch of money. All I have to do is promise never to wear any of their crap ever. <laughs> Just don't do it. <laughs> I love this room. You know this room is haunted, don't you? I did this, last time I did a show here, right in the middle of my act, I started hearing. Ooh. I remember last show I did, they said, can you do an hour? I said, it'll seem like an hour, don't you worry about that. <laughs> hey, I wrote a few new ones, you want to let me try them out on yeah. this one, yeah. They might suck, but just let me know, okay? Uh, okay, let me see, I want the macaroni grill. I'm not sure how they keep the macaroni from falling through the grill. <laughs> try the new shit. The Tonight Show? Come on, people. <laughs> I keep hearing the phrase cute as a button, but I've never seen a cute button. Okay, remember back in the day when everyone used to say back in the day? <laughs> How come when your alarm goes off, you have to turn it off? <laughs> How come some things burn up and other things burn down? <laughs> So, hey, Mom, where's all those pictures of Grandma? Oh, they all burned up when the house burned down. <laughs> I think DVD players and SUVs are dangerous. I think it distracts people from texting. <laughs> this summer, my nephew went to a memory camp to learn how to do better in school. I guess they couldn't call it a concentration camp. Okay, here's my last one. I couldn't keep my eyes off the woman at the construction site. She was riveting. All right, thank you, everybody.